Welcome everyone to this episode of Willie's ABCs of Favorite and Sega Dreamcast Games. Today is brought to you by the letter F. F for F355 Challenge. Yeah! I love Ferrari racing. Matter of fact, you know, the first time I got to play the arcade version of this was in my buddy's arcade uh, room at his house. Uh, name is Scott. He does the Retro Gaming Roundup podcast, and he has a really cool arcade built in his house. And one of his feature games is the sit-down version of F-355. I did a video on it with him, got to play the actual arcade game. He even has a little ticket machine thing that prints out your uh, race results and everything. It's a really cool racing game with the three monitors across the, the front of you. Really great driving simulator. And there was an actually a really good port done to the Sega Dreamcast. It's actually pretty good. You, it plays best when you use, use the steering wheel. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, love the artwork on this thing. This copy is kind of beat up. That's not the best in shape. It came from Oogie Games. But on the back, it shows you some of the different features of the game. Some of the tracks that you race on. It's got a nice selection of tracks on it. Of course, inside we have our very damaged instruction manual. Uh, I think it got wet because it's all wrinkly and very stiff. But it has a really nice instruction manual. It goes through all the different settings of the game, how to set up your car. You can actually adjust different aspects of your car to change how it races. Uh, of course, you have a professional mode and a beginner mode. Does a lot of stuff for you like automatic transmission, automatic braking. Here it is, the assist function. It is actually a really good simulation game, driving simulation on the Sega Dreamcast. Ooh, hang on for that page on a rip. Eventually, I'll find a better copy of this game, and I'll probably just give this away. But at least the disc works and everything. The disc is in the Sega Dreamcast because I just did a video. <laughs> anyway, let's try the game out. All right, F-355 Challenge, Passion Rosa. Awesome. I love the sound effects in this game. We're just going to play a quick arcade game here. Ooh, Motegi. Suzuki Shot. Manza. Sugo. Suzuka. Long Beach. That's a cool one. We're going to stay with the simple one here, because it's been a while since I've played this game. We're going to select Motegi. And we're going to do Novice. <laughs> let's go ahead and just do some... Uh, let's just go ahead and do a race. Your selection. It's got a really nice training mode. All right. Go! Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love the music that plays in this game. The arcade game is absolutely phenomenal. They did a really good job on the Dreamcast. It plays really well with the uh, with the steering controller. Ooh, time extension. Oh, I'm off the line. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, sliding. Oh, drop a little line. Go. 
Man, it's getting gain on those guys. Oh, 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 he's behind me. I like the radar where you can see the cars around you. That's a really nice feature of this game. I scrubbed off some speed. Time extension. Final lap. Come on, man. Try to get by that guy. Go, 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 go. Get by him! Get by him! Drafting! Yes! Awesome! I finished fourth. <laughs> Game, over. Game over, man! Such a cool game. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save the driving data. Alrighty. Yay! But what's really cool, you can do like a championship, you can do a single player version of car settings, driving data, some options. What's in the options here? Game settings, device settings, Allen Gold calibration. That helps a lot. Oh yeah. So you can sit here and calibrate your steering to what's good for you. Okay, so we'll do there's minimum maximum. Okay, minimum maximum. And then trigger two, minimum, maximum. Here we go. Exit. Car settings. Okay, here we go. So you can choose the color of your car. You can name your car, which is kind of cool. So we can change to yellow, gray, white, green, orange. Ooh, I like the two-tone. I like that two-tone. That's kind of cool. You can change your ride height, too. That's awesome. <laughs> so let's do like a single play here. This time we're going to select a different track. Let's do... Oh, let's do uh, Long Beach. Uh, do I want to do automated? No. I'm going to keep it on novice. <laughs> and we're going to... You can do like, just drive the course with no other cars. It's kind of nice. Or you can actually do some training, which is really cool. You follow a line that teaches you how to shift and how to drive your car down around the track and stuff. Uh, the arcade version of this is absolutely wonderful. And we're going to do another race. Start. Automated transmission. Auto braking. Oh, there's my two-tone car. I like my two-tone car. Right away we go! Ooh. It's only three laps. Ooh, that's a tight turn. Ooh, tight. Oh! 
Whoops. Oh, come on, go, go, go. Come on. Shift. Shit, we're going to go. Whoa. Yes, Willie is very bad at video games. <laughs> oh, I am so far behind. This is so bad. What a terrible lap. Well, it comes that sharp turn again. Oh, come on. Quit spinning out, man. Go. Go. Guess I should have hooked up my steering wheel for this. Go, go. Wow. So far behind. Well, I'm obviously going to lose this race, so we're not even going to attempt to, uh, <laughs> to try to uh, finish it off. Let's take a look at a couple more of my runner-up games that begin with the letter F as I crash into the wall. Crunch. Pretty cool game. I love this game. It's actually really good on the Dreamcast. Now, another runner-up favorite that begins with the letter F is Flag to Flag Racing. This has like 27 different real-life IndyCar or kart racing teams on here. You can do like pit crew stuff. Pretty awesome. you got a bunch of different tracks. You can really customize the car. It has a lot of customization options to it. It's actually a really, really fun game. Play a little bit of the game here right here so you can see what it looks like. It has some really good graphical details. And I like how the, the letters on the wheels will start to blur as they spin faster and faster. It's actually a really good, a really good racing game on the Dreamcast as well. It's my number two favorite racing game on the console itself, you know, next to F355. Uh, if you like indie car racing, kart racing and stuff, this is one you may want to pick up for your Sega Dreamcast because it is a really good racing simulation. Really great graphics. The controls are really nice. Uh, like I said, you want to play these games with a steering wheel a controller. You, you can play it with the analog stick. Some people are really good at the analog stick. I am terrible with the analog stick. Uh, one of the things I do to try to make it easier for me to drive is on the analog stick, I will sit there and hold all the way up and do this to do like a steering wheel. It helps me try to do fine movements. I do it right in the middle. I, I tend to oversteer a lot. Especially when I have some caffeine in me. I really oversteer because my fingers get really jittery. It's like, oh! <laughs> anyway, that's runner up number one flag to flag, kart racing. Runner up number two, of course, is Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. This is actually, I would consider a a hidden gem. I hate using that word, but it is. Uh, it's a short game. It's a very fun game. Uh, basically, it's it's like Frogger the arcade game, but it just expands it. Uh, there's another game, arcade kind of game on the Dreamcast Lite called Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness. This kind of reminds me of that a little bit. It takes the classic arcade game, expands on it to give you different things that you can do. You know, basically, you're running around trying to save all the baby frogs in this game. And of course, Frogger has some extra power-ups. You can do double jumps and things. You can activate switches to open up doors. You have different enemies that you have to avoid. Uh, there's a lot of unlockables in this game that are a lot of fun to get a hold of. Uh, I'll probably do a video just on this game sometime in the future uh, as a live stream or something like that because I really enjoy playing this game, but I enjoyed playing that F-355 a little bit, a little bit more. But anyway, of these games here, Frogger 2, Flag to Flag Racing, and of course F-355 Challenge, which one did you really like? What begins with the letter F? Do you have a game that you like that I didn't talk about that begins with the letter F on the Sega Dreamcast? If so, comment down below. Be interesting to see what you have to say about these games, or a game that you like that begins with the letter F. As always everyone, thanks for watching. <laughs>